Hey, welcome to Women's Wednesday. We hope you're doing well this morning. Uh, I was thinking about a story in the scriptures, and um, <clears throat> it's they these two ladies were the unsung heroes. These are plenty of people in the Bible that are often not talked about, and I was thinking about uh, who are the two unsung heroes that are not discussed. Before I get there, I would like to ask you a question is if you were to list out some of your fears, things that you are fearful of, what would that look like? What's your what's your biggest fear? What's your second to biggest fear or whatever? Um, and so I know that women's minds are constantly thinking about something and it's all driven behind emotion such as fear that you're that you're constantly thinking and it's all attached to some type of emotion. In the Bible, there's two women who had fear. They had two different fears going on in their life. Their name was Shapira and Pua. Shapira and Pua. You probably have never even heard of these two ladies, but they played a very, very important role in the scriptures. Now, before I tell you about these ladies, I want to tell you a little bit of background. From Genesis chapter 50 to Exodus chapter 1, there's a 300-year period where there's that we don't know what happened necessarily from Genesis chapter 50 to Exodus chapter 1 300 years now if you remember in Genesis chapter 50 we have Joseph and Joseph saved the Egyptians from a major famine and 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 helped a lot of people not to die and Joseph was a very important role in the Egyptian economy at that time the Egyptians and the Israelites there was a respect there and we see here 300 years had passed and there's a new sheriff in town. There's a new Pharaoh in town. All Joseph has died. All his brothers have died. The Pharaoh then had died. And we have a whole nother generation. And the Bible says that, and that Pharaoh did not know Joseph. Okay. And so we have a Pharaoh that now has a fear that the Israelites are now going to take over. So he begins a process of trying to eliminate the Israelites, so they would not grow outnumber the Egyptians and raise up and try to destroy them. And so here's these two Egyptian women, Shapira and Pua, in the middle of this story, and they are midwives. Simply, they helped uh, the Israelite women to birth their babies, okay? And so the king of Egypt has uh, seen a problem with all these uh, Israelites now outnumbering or almost outnumbering the Egyptians. And so they call these two women in. Can you imagine being called before the Pharaoh and and not knowing what he's getting ready to tell you? It says, Then the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, one of them named Shapira and Pua, and said, When you are helping these Hebrew women to give birth and see them upon the birth stool, if it is a boy, then you should kill him. But if it's a girl then you're going to let her live. Now, can you imagine sitting there before your authority and saying, now, I want you to kill these babies. I want you to take them out before they have a chance to even see the baby, and I want you to cut his throat or whatever it may be. This must be a terrifying time for them. You know, they're probably looking at each other. or They're already terrified standing before this Pharaoh, and now he's asking them to kill babies. You know, they had a fear that, what if I don't kill this baby? But he's telling me to do this. And then the next verse said this, But the midwives feared God and did not do as the Egypt, the king of Egypt said, and they let all the boys live. You know what? They had a fear of Pharaoh. And they had a fear of killing these babies. But their fear of God outweighed all the other fears in their life. So when these babies begin to multiply, the king, the pharaoh, calls Shapira and Pua back to his presence before his throne, and he says, why have you done this thing? I mean, I know what you're doing, and you're letting these kids live. I'm, I've got the numbers right before me. Why are there so many Hebrew children being born and the boys? And so the midwives answer, and they come up with a lie. It's a pretty crazy lie because they actually play on words about what the way he's treating these Hebrews. It says, because the Hebrew women are not as us Egyptian women. 
They are vigorous and give birth before we can even arrive. They used the word vigorous because the Pharaoh treated the Hebrew people like animals. And so they used that word vigorous as an animal in the wild that gives birth very quickly. And so they just do a play on words. Now, they told a lie. You know why? Because their fear of God was more than the fear of Pharaoh. Now, it's interesting that, that they're not punished for this lie whatsoever. In fact, we see the difference here of, of what God did because they were protecting his people. And it says, so God was good to the midwives. And the people, the Hebrew people, multiplied. And because the midwives lied, no, because they feared God, he established household for them. Meaning, he blessed them with families of their own. Now, what's the importance of, of Shapira and Pua? If you look at their story, they had a fear versus a fear. There's things all around us that we can fear. There's, especially right now with everything that's going on in our world. But they did not let the fear of this world outweigh or control them over the fear that they had for God. I want to ask you, what is your greatest fear? Is it the fear of the things of the world? What's going to happen to your family? What's going to happen to your children? Is everybody going to be okay? Or is it that I have a reverential fear of God and he is the one that's truly in control? We hope you have a great day. God bless you.